I'm gonna show you guys how to make an awesome business card that's gonna take you two seconds. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNace, or you can find me here at Flurn making videos to help you guys get better at Photoshop and photography and business cards is today. And uh, I just got back from vacation seeing Southern Utah giant rocks. Um, they were awesome. And I suggest you guys do the same. I put a bunch of pictures on the Flurn Facebook page, so I'm sure you guys saw those. Um, we're going to show you guys how to make a business card. It's going to be very graphic oriented and it's going to be easy, totally cool. And uh, you can do it. I'm going to make show you how to make no matter what your name is I'm gonna show you guys how to make it look very pretty and professional and awesome so the first thing I want to do is uh, look at this business card real quick I actually downloaded it from this site it's a uh, great effects business cards.com this business card template down here so I'll link to that um, basically what we're doing is I'm gonna open this up and show you guys how this works um, you have your safe zone which is inside of this blue in this case and this is where basically you don't want text and everything to go outside of that because what happens is these uh, business cards get printed in a sheet and then something stamps them out. And that stamp is it's pretty close to good, but it's not perfect. So they want to be sure that when you stamp it, it's not going to stamp out anything that is actually really important. So that's why they put the safe zone. Then you have your trimming zone, which is probably about where this thing will get stamped. Again, it's not exact, so this is probably. And then you have your bleed zone, where if you can have something that's image based like we do here, you want that all the way out to the edge. Now the image size here, just go to image, image size. It's 3.6 by 2.1 inches. That's gonna get cropped in 0.1 inches. So it's gonna be two by 3.5 inches at the end. And your resolution is gonna be 350 pixels per inch. All right, so that's this specific um, business card template. I think it's a pretty good one, but you guys might have a different one. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually bring in some of our images here and just kind of put them right over top. So we're gonna hold down shift and click and drag some of our images and these are my images and this is why I think that you guys are gonna do a really quick easy job of making a great looking business card because all it is is it's gonna rely on your images being great which I know they are so that's uh, not that hard for you already all right we're gonna use this one I'm gonna show you guys a couple different examples this is an image I did. Um, this was a subset of my dollhouse series that we did. And if you guys want to check that out, you can go to my website because it's right over here. You can go to AaronNace.com and be like, oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. There's more of those images. Anyway, um, so I'm going to show you guys what to do with this. Now, in this case, we are re relatively fortunate because this image is, I, I want that crop to it. However, it's not going to give me anything over here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to make a new layer. I'm going to grab my brush tool and choose this color that's right over here. And we're just going to brush tool this all the way to the side there. Um, if you wanted to use like a clone stamp tool or something like that and get all kinds of, you know, detail from over there, that's probably fine. But in this case, I think you're probably fine just using brush tool. After all, it's a business card. The resolution is probably not going to be incredibly great. So if it looks fine on your monitor, it's probably going to look fine on something like this big. Okay, so that's my solution there. Now, if you do have something that's, you know, full size, this image is quite a bit bigger. Um, you can also use the crop technique. Let's just hold down shift and command and I can crop this in. This is a totally weird image. I know a lot of my images are very, very weird, but I'm weird. So there that is. <laughs> this image is a little bit more normal. Maybe we could put her in there or uh, size this a little bit larger. Now, the reason I'm sizing these larger, I just pulled these off my own website, so um, I didn't grab the full size images, but if you did, um, that then you won't have to upscale your images there. Okay, and if you wanted to go super fancy, you can actually use an image like this, and you can rotate it, so when a person's looking at your business card, it's not long ways, it's the other ways, top ways, <laughs> I don't know what ways that is. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your name look awesome. Um, we're going to grab the text tool. So hit T for the text tool and um, mine defaults to Arial, which is totally cool. Just hit over there and I'm going to type in my name, Aaron Nace. Now I have a relatively short name, five letters of my first name, four in my last name. And I'm going to show you how to make a short name look good and a long name. So we're going to click on this. I'm going to change this to a lighter color. You don't have to go to white. You can just go something like a light gray. That looks pretty good there. Um, we're gonna click on this. By the way, you want your character window open because this is a lot of really cool stuff. So go to window and make sure you go to character. Okay, 
You're gonna wanna hit this uh, two capital T's here. Let's just zoom in so you can see that. Click that and that's going to all caps your name. All right, we're gonna change this from regular down here to bold because everyone knows things look better when they're bolded. And I'm gonna change this, um, the space in between the letters. Now, this guy right here is actually gonna change the sizing, the distance of your letters. So it's going to like scale your letters either wider or smaller. This over here is going to change the distance between the letters themselves. So I recommend changing the top one, not the bottom one. The bottom one looks like this. It's gonna look horrible, just please don't do that. Uh, if you show me your business card and it looks like that, I will be disappointed. So we're gonna change this other one instead. I'm gonna change that to like negative 50 and you can see the letters just get a little bit closer together and that looks way better than uh, messing around with that. So we're, all, we're already looking pretty good. Um, let's see, I'm gonna make my name a little bit bigger just cause I kind of want to. And um, now what we're gonna do, I need to align this uh, along the center. So I'm gonna hit Command, hold down Command and click on my name and then background layer. And then I'm gonna use my move tool and I'm gonna click over here, you have your align tools. So you can either align this along the right, along the center, along the left, or you can do the bottom, the center, or the top. So depending on how you wanna do it, let's just grab the center. There we go, you can see it just aligns this with the background layer. So now you have perfect spacing between the left and the right side of your name. You don't have to worry about like, is it actually perfect? You know, is it one pixel to the right or the left or whatever? And now I can line it along both centers. So we're aligned on both centers and that's totally up to you if you do wanna line it on both centers or not. Um, and then what you can do, if you wanna move this around like I'm doing here, if you hold down the shift key, it'll only let you move it left or right, up or down or at a diagonal. So you can hold down shift and just drag it down. There we go. And something like that actually works pretty well. Um, let's see, I think that this could be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna hold down the, I'm gonna hit command T to transform it, hold down shift grab this corner and then hold down command, sorry, command T, shift and option. And that's gonna do it from both sides. There we go. And then you can just kind of put this wherever you want it to be. Um, and this is, you know, this is the only part that's gonna take a little bit of finesse is figuring out where you want this in your image. You can put it on the bottom, but then we're covering up something interesting. You can put it along the top. All right, we'll do something like that. Um, you know what, in this case, you might even want to do something like this. I'm just going to delete Nace from there. There we go. Hit Command Enter to apply that. I'm going to click and drag this down to make a duplicate of that. Double click on there and then just type in Nace. All right, so there we have, you know, now it just says Air Nace. Command T, make that a little bit smaller. All right, so the reason I like doing stuff like this is because it's very well image based. People can see what your name is, things like that, but it's not like, you don't have to tell people what kind of photographer you are because they can just look at it and be like, oh, he takes a picture of this stuff apparently. Um, so that's what this is going on. So remember your bleed. This is, let's just go ahead and merge those two together. Remember your bleed. I'm gonna make this a little bit less visible and you're just gonna to wanna to be sure that any text you make is inside of this blue line because that's where it's gonna get cut off. Now these two, I'm gonna command click on those and then I'm gonna use my move tool, make sure they're both aligned to the left so they're perfectly there. And um, there we go. It is, the, the text is aligned there so even if that gets cut right there, it's totally okay, not a big deal. And we're ready to move that on to the next image. So. That's a quick example of how to do something like, I think that looks good, it's professional. It's mostly relied on the fact that you have a cool image. Um, let's do another image and I'm gonna show you guys how to do, um, maybe if you have a longer name, um, how to make that look good. So let's try, let's just do, let's group those together. Let's do a name that uh, I like and there we go. Abraham Lincoln. That's a really good name. There we go. So Abraham Lincoln, this is a bit longer of a name. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go with the other side. Instead of trying to make it really thick and like blocky, we're actually gonna make it a little bit uh, thinner. So with this, you can do, like you can click here and you can actually go through all of your letters. Like you can scroll down 
as long as you click on you know what your actual font is you can just hit the down arrow and it's going to scroll down um, generally you want to stick to more um, I don't know how to say you want to stick to well-known fonts don't go off like trying to like pick a font that's just uh, you know crazy and things that you know oh I've invented a new font for this um, this is you really want to choose a font that actually works and if you guys have a professionally designed logo I would recommend using that um, I don't really recommend designing your own logo there's a reason why we're photographers and graphic designers are graphic designers uh, because they're good at what they do and then we're good at what we do so if you guys don't know any graphic designers um, there are a lot of great graphic designers out there um, you can type in I can't even remember there's a, a website if you guys remember it please send the link below there's actually a website where you can have like you can get logos designed for you uh, really cheaply and um, I, I like it but I forgot the name of it if I remember I'm gonna put a link below okay so we're gonna choose something that looks is a little bit thinner Ugh, I don't like any of those we're gonna go all the way back up at the top sorry guys but you get the idea all right we're just gonna have to stick with something all right Arial maybe you, we will take this down Abraham Lincoln all right yeah okay that looks cool if we go along this line here Abraham Lincoln Mr. Lincoln you were just so cool you know what this doesn't look as good I, I'm just I failed you I'm sorry it doesn't look as good I thought it would look much better all right we'll get this and then we're gonna move on I promise Mr. Lincoln would be so all right century gothic there we go <laughs> sorry Mr. Lincoln all right so if you have a, a long name make it you know thin text and then maybe make it a little bit smaller you could do something like this um I guess my point is whatever you guys are doing it's gonna be mostly image based so um, you know put basically just your name on the first part of the business card and then on the back side you can put all your other details with the duplicate of your name so let's just say because I didn't like this as much as this one um, this is going to be the business card that we go with all right so the Aaron Ace business card now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a new layer and then I'm just gonna choose you can choose either white or black um, if I want to go black just to stick with what I had already I'll do that and then we'll have Aaron Nace so this will be you know on one side you'll have the images and then on the other side you can do really whatever you want with your type um, so in this case we will choose to have it say well people already know I'm a photographer so I'm just gonna put my email Aaron at flern.com all right and we will make that quite a bit smaller the key here is just it, it's super easy to make these sort of things look good it's a lot easier than most people think um, you just use white and gray and like make things so like they're equally spaced so like Aaron Nace and then you just like put that and make it about the same size um, then I'm gonna duplicate that we'll put my phone number here and my phone number is not for public information so I'm gonna make something up <laughs> there we go see you thought you had it but you didn't all right so there's my name my uh, email address and my phone number and what else Amelia what else what should we put in a business card what, your specialty in photography is. what my specialty in photography is okay Amelia it says specialty in photography that's totally up to you guys um, let's see what would my specialty be my specialty would be something like crazy uh, portraits I don't know <laughs> I've never had to describe my own specialty in photography um, yeah if you have a specialty okay I'll just say portraits but no one is going to come to me because I'm a portrait photographer that's just not gonna happen like you know a grandmother like oh I heard you did portraits uh, you're probably really good at that that's not my cup of tea but we'll just say um, portraits that looks pretty good so super quick and easy Aaron Nace my whip my uh, that 
<laughs> website, phone number, portraits. And if you wanted to do your website as well, instead of this category, let's just say, um, there we go. Well, you can put flurn.com. And because um, I don't really have a category, but you guys, you guys probably do. All right. So what you can do is change these in order. So like, you know, the, the wider goes to outside and then it kind of comes in. Um, basically this one is wide, a little bit less wide, and then a little bit less wide again. All right. And if you do have three things like this, you can shift click on the three of those. Then you can click on this, which is going to equally space the three of those. There we go. And then space them all to the left. All right. And apparently flurn.com I think needs to go up just a little bit. Okay. So there we have the front and the back of a business card. Again, I told you guys, this was super simple. Um, but it is something that I think you guys can do. If you don't have a business card, this is something you can totally do in five minutes. This is one side, that's the other, and it, it'll totally work, it'll look good, it'll look professional and new, and uh, that's easy. Just, if your name is Abraham Lincoln, I'm sorry, because that's a little bit harder um, <laughs> to do. That's it for this tutorial, guys. The best person who makes a business card and submits it in a comment box below, I'm gonna give it to you guys a Flurn Pro because I stumbled like a madman through this tutorial, but I hope you still liked it and learned a lot from it. Thanks a bunch for watching Flurn, guys. I'll Flurn you later. Today we're making an awesome video card. That's not what we're doing. We're not making a video card at all.